Shalom Rocha, good morning, White Show members, Ms. Paulim, Achenu Bene Yisrael. Eschatai, Anim Eskarayom, growing up, I remember a commercial, the night was made for Michelob. If you don't know who Michelob is, Michelob Bunweiser. And as in the end of the day, it's a beer. The Goyim, Lahavdil, what's the night made for? The night to made it for beer. And Lahavdil, Alfi Shabalfi, Avdolis, let's go to the Gemara and Erevin, Samachayim and Aleph, Amaru Shimon ben Lokish, Rish Lokish tells us, Lo Ivri Sira El Legir, so you know what the night is made for? It's not made for drinking, it's not made. Our first yot for heaven, I follow them. You know what the nights are made for? The Ibsh to make the nights. Alagirsa during the day. Tell your Dara Kheretz, you have to work. What can you do? Arabi Yishmoya, Broch Islam and Ayyamid Bays. Aye. But when it comes to the night and the world shuts down, no ever see Rael and the Girsa, the night is made for Tyra, for Limana Tyra. Hamamela, one can ask the following question. Rav Tzadik HaKohen has a klal yadua. Every member of Chazal, every choice, Agarata, finds its appropriate place. And a specific Masechta for reason. So one has to wonder, the Gemara that talks about Limana Torah at night and what the whole tachlis of why the Abish to remain nights are for Limana Torah. What's it doing in Erevin? Out of all places, Erevin, what Shaykh is? Ma'ani and Shemitah, Eitzel Sinai. Athenius Daiti, perhaps one can suggest as follows. Uh, let's take a step out of the action. Let's think for but a moment what exactly is an Eruv. I live in my home in Rosh Hashanah, and in my home I'm allowed to carry freely. I but to venture outside, off of my property, and to go into Rosh Hashanah, one of the Lamates, Melochas and Shabbos, the mission in Klal Gondo, I and Gimlam and Aleph, the Melocha with which we start the 24 program on Masech HaShabbos, Yitzhiyas HaShabbos, Shtayim Shainah, I'm not allowed to carry into Shisharabim. Why? Because they're two clearly defined and mutually exclusive areas. One is my own private domain, that's Rosh Hashanah, and one is the Rosh Hashanah. You want to carry Rosh Hashanah, what do you have to do? You have to make an Erev, Loshin Yervuvia, make a mixture. I'll go out and take a Chalik of the Rosh Hashanah and extend your Rosh Hashanah, make it a part of your Rosh Hashanah. To enable and allow you to then carry out your ma'arev of the beis rishuyas behadodi, you kilu mix them in figuratively speaking, of course. And now I've extended my mishas yachid, and henceforth I'm allowed to carry dalad mishas So I'm taking one domain, and there's a separate domain, and now I'm mixing the two together, and I'm extending one domain into the next one. Avinius daiti, what's learning a night? People see it as what Ahibashar created the yom, he created the lila, he created the zman when the shem rules and then there's mom when the Levana rules. So there are two clearly distinct times. What does Abish to want us to do? As he told Yeshua and Yeshua, Perkalaposaches, Avagisabo Yom of Valila, as the Gamorna Darm Chesim and Alf makes clear, a person is Yotze Schiev with Kriyashwan to Shacharis, Kriyashwan Arvist. I knew there's a time to learn during the day, and there's a Kviya Sitam at night, there's a Yom and there's a Laila. What does Abish to want you to do? Vagisabo, he wants you to toil and think and meditate on Torah when Vagisa Yom of Valila with the Vavachib or juxtapose. Ah, the Laila to the Yom. Take the night and be machaber that to the day. Vagisabo Yomam Vilaila. Go into the night and extend that to Laila Kayomi here. Ah, take the candles, take the electricity, and light up the night to Kilo. Bring day into the night. Isn't that an echo? Lafinius Taiti, what am I saying? is all about. Ah, go into the night and now be Ma'arev. Extend the light, the flames, ah, the electricity. Extend Send it into the nighttime hours and join the nighttime hours to the day. Vagismo Yom of an echo of the mechanics of what an Erev actually functions to do. Amela Bimaare, the Abishur says, the night to the day, Ayyadei Limana Torah, to create that eternal bond, leaking forever. The night to the day, being Ma'arev, the night to the day, Ayyadei Limana Torah. Hence, lo ivra sira el legir. So that's what the night was made for. Uh, to take the night.
Uh, connected to the day I day Limit Atira. Who best represents this idea? Well, let me ask you a question, Klai Yisrael. We know Baruch Hashem, many people are davening Masikin. But when is the one night a year where more people are davening Masikin than any other night of the year? How is the one night that more people are learning throughout the night than any other night of the year? We just tasted it. We just experienced it. Shavuos, Man Matan Tarasenu. I say yes to Mogin Avram and Hilcha Shavuos and Rechaim Tavtsari Dalit and Simkan Aleph. He cites the famous Medrash to Medrash and Shirshim Rabbo that Kleisol slept the night of Matan Torah. We have to be Masaki in that. I and Rav Tzodik and Preet Tzodik for Shtikl and Shavuos. And they actually went to sleep with Shem Shemayim. And of course, we spoke about sleep in the best. Chazanish would stay up. How in the world? How can you go to sleep before Shavuos? And then once you get the Torah, how can you sleep after getting the Torah? How can you sleep at all before and after Shavuos? It's very difficult. What is the belt do? The belt stays up. Uh, why? Whatever reason you're going to learn the Magen Avram, we have to be Masak in the past. Show the excitement of the Torah. What are we doing? We're staying up. Why? Dvorim Gadol Amenam Mikrov. Phineas Taiti, who's the hero, who's the protagonist of center stage come Shavuos time. Shavuos belongs to whom more than any other? David Melech, of course, the Yishalmi twice, both in Beya and in Chagiga, tells us how that David Melech was nifted or he passed away from this world in Shavuos. How long comes the Bechor Shor and the Binyan Ariel based on the Gemara Shoni and Aleph? That Sadiqim Nismal should not say him. They have a full circle, a full cycle of life. I may love David Melech, Yishalmi tells us twice was Nifter and Shavuos and then Markoch David Melch was born in Shavuos and doesn't it make sense Shavuos is seven times seven it's the festival of weeks who best represents the seven days in a week David who lives 70 years and tell him, Tani Pasagud, he he's the king of sevens. He's the seventh son of Yisha. He marries 18 wives with Tzachidah writes in Helam Dover and Sifkon. He had Zion that Batsheva was the seventh wife of David. And what do you think her name is? Batsheva, the daughter of seven. David Melech is the seventh guest that comes on Hashanah Rabba, the seventh day of Sukkot, because he corresponds to the seventh meter, the seventh sphere, that of the Yisod of Malchus. David Melech starts his kingship in Hebron for seven years. He lives 70 years. Your life as Shivam Seva. David is the king of seventies and marries Bathsheba, the daughter of seven. He is all about the number seven, David Melach. So now, Givaldik, uh, David Melech is Shavuos. That's his yom He dies in Shavuos and he's born in Shavuos. And we lay Megillah source. One of the many reasons the Mephorshim point out. Why do we lay Megillah source in Shavuos? Because this is the yard side of David Melech. And the Tachlis, the Yuchus of uh, David is outlined, delineated for us in the four chapters of Megillah source, all to get to the last line. The four Prochim are all to get to what? Prochus Yerbezim, Ralavaka, Olach, Achra, Chisim, Zilbasa, Chasima. What's the Chasim of Megillah? Rus, the combination and the climax of Rus is what? Vishai Yolid is David. It's all to get to what? It's Megillah Rus, but it ends with David. How brings the Kesar Malchus into the world? Kesar Gematria 620, you need Rus, who is the Ema Malchus, Baba Basra. I'm a Rebelazer. Avayosim kisle ima melach Rebelazer malamed. And then he said about kisle ve'ima shomalchus rus as the mother, the matriarch of all sense of majesty and kingship in the world. And she produces ultimately Devon and Melach Oved and Yishai and Devon and Melach who is Devon and Yisroch Havikayim. Arashon Chafayim and Aleph. Arus Gematria six oh six with Devon Gematria fourteen six oh six and fourteen Gematria six twenty Gematria Keser the Phineas Daiti who brings the Musa of Keser to the world. The matriarch of Malchus meets an Echad, Arus Gematria 606, and then David. The manifestation and uh, the actualization of the Malchus of Rus. I uh, add the 14 of David to the 606 of Rus, and that's Gematria Keser, that's 620. How uh, we lay in Megillah's Rus to highlight the Yichus of David Amelech on his yard site, on his birthday. And uh, then is Shavuot Safinius Daiti. What's the Minig Israel? Uh, tomorrow we do a made of a Mikra. Uh, what does Kai Soul do more on this night than in any other night of the year? We stay up all night. Why do we stay up all night? Because what's in the to David. What's unique about David? He's the one person of Tanakh who never went to sleep. Ayakovino, he did it, yes, 14 years in yeshivas. Shame and Avery went 14 years without sleeping, but whose whole life from start to finish was all about not sleeping? Let's go to Brachas, Dav Gimlam and Beis. And the Gemara tells us that what do we know about David? 
Avet Rav Zira Marachatzus Leila Yimasnanim Kesus as the Gemara outlines in Sukkah Chavav Amud Beis he would goes off like the horse. Mikam Elachayim Meskabe Kari. What did he do? Rav Hashem Marachatzus Leila Yosek with the Reitayra. Mikam Elach Meshiros with the Shvuches. How would David do? He stayed up all night. He mamish and about to sleep. How David came on never went to sleep. Ad Kedekach writes the Chida in his Midbar Kedemus. Frick the Chida the famous Stira. Where did David and Melech get his seventy years from? We have the Zohar Chelik Aleph Tzadi Aleph from a base that other Mishan after the Chet uh, allocated a thousand years. He says, you know what? I see into the future. Dor 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 Shav. There's going to be an eightfold a miscarried fetus. Nobody's only going to live for three hours. You know what? I'll give him seventy years. So the Mishan bestows seventy years so graciously to David Melech. He got seventy years, and then we have the Zohar Yishlach that says that Yaakov only lived to one forty-seven. He should have lived to one eighty, like his father. Thirty-three missing years. Yosef lived to one ten. He should have lived to one forty-seven, like his father, missing 37 years, and the 33 difference between Yitzchak and Yaakov, and the 37 difference between Yaakov and Yosef, what do you get, 33 and 37, of course, is 70, who allocated 70 years to David Melach? The joint effort of the Ovis of Yaakov and Yosef. Frank the Chido, so which one is it? Did he get 70 from Odom? Did he get 70 from Yaakov and Yosef? I tell one the two roots of the Chido says, David Melch never went to sleep. See, he needed 70 years. We, you need to go to sleep. We have a day, 12 hours a day. We have 12 hours of the night. I so most people just need 70 years of days worth. I but David Melch who didn't go to sleep. He needed 70 years. He got from Odom reaching the 70 years of the day. And he got from Yaakov and Yosef the 70 years of the night because he never went to sleep. He needed the 70 and the 70. That's one of the two answers the Chino writes. Other answers as well. And that's Dovon Melch. That's the 70 years. So Dovon Melch never goes to sleep. I said, turning, so what is he doing? He's busy learning at night. Not only is he learning at night, but writes the Siddur HaRizal. Avram Avina, we know from the Gemara and Baruch HaShav Amar Beis. Tvila, so was taking him around with Melchus Melch and Brek Tessel Lachalaf. Avram Avina gave us Tvila Shacharis. Yitzchak gave us Mircha Yaakov gave us Meir Evan. We take a look, of course, at the second letter of their respective names. Second letter of Ram is a base. That's reminiscent of Boker. He was massacring the Tfilah of the Boker Chakras. Yitzchak, Tzadi, Tzaharayim. He gave us the Tfilah of the afternoon, Tfilah Smincha. And Yaakov Hai and Erev, he gave us Arvis, Myra, the Tfilah of the evening. Abba, let me ask you, Klai, so who brings it full circle? Tikin Chatzos, Ayde, Dovin, and Uzmasaki, and Vasikin. When he got him in Chatzos, who Dovin in the night and continued into the day. Avasikin, that brings it full circle. Circle. David the Rego Ravi Bamrakova, Api the Zohar, the Kisveri, and the Shla is the fourth wheel of the chariot that brings down the covenant of Hashem. Avram, the second letter is base, Boker, Shachris, Yitzchak, Tzari, Tzarai, Mincha, Yaakov, and Erev, Arvis. And David's second letter is what is the Vav? What's Vav? Vasikin. He brings it full circle. Gevaldik Adam, or is starting to bring the Gilu of Hashem into the world. The first letter of Adam's name is an Aleph. First letter of Avram is Aleph, and then Yitzhak and Yaakov, it's a Yud and a Yud. That's the Aleph of Adam, the Aleph of Avram, that's one and one, that's two. And then you have Yitzhak and Yaakov, that's another 20. That's 22. How do we get to 26? Yud K Vav K. We need the first letter of David's name. Add the Dalit, the four of David. Adam, and then Avram, Yitzhak, Yaakov. David had the four. First letter of David, then you get to 26. The Gilo of Hashem is Bar. David brings it full circle. Who's the one who's learning all night? David and Melch is learning all night. So what do we do on the art if, on the art site of David when we laid Megillah's Rus to highlight the Yichas of David and Melech? Uh, the one who brings Malchus into the world when we're Mamlech HaKadosh Baruch Hu time. And what do we have? We have the art site of David and Melech who passed away in Shavuos. So we have the birthday of David who uh, came into the world in Shavuos. And that's seven times seven. He is the king of sevens. So what do we do? We model ourselves after the whole life, the Metzius and the Kunim Yuchedes Achverach to David, the only personality in God's Tanakh who was able to go his whole life, come out to without ever sleeping. So what do we do, the Phineas Daiti? It's not at all coincidental. On the birthday in the yard side of David and who never went to sleep, what do we do? We don't go to sleep. We stay up all night, and not only do we stay up all night, how what do we do? It's the night that yid in the world over Davin Vasikin. There are plenty of people who don't even stay up and they still Davin Vasikin. No things coincidental, my friends, in my humble opinion. Why is Kai Solomonic Achrak and Shavuos to Davin Vasikin? Yes, to greet the Tyre Gavaldic. But this is David's birthday. This is David's yard site. This is Megillus Rus. Uh, the highlight, what gives David a Melch the greatest Nachas? What can you do? So let's all 
make ourselves quasi David like. Let's all emulate that model of a David and Melech introduced to the world. Let's stay up all night just as David stayed up all night. And let's greet the day with Tfilas Hasik and let's bring it full circle. That is David and Melech. That's on his yard site. That's what David brings into the world. I mean, let's go to the Haley Guru Dumska writes it to first Shlomo. We have a mission at the end of first Perker Broch is the bottom of your base, I'm in base. And it's, of course, in the Gunnish of Pesach, Amalos and Rosaya. Hayi, Sikimen, Shemeshon, Lozichisi, Shtomer, Yitzir, Soyim, Alayla, Sachin, Rosham, and Zayma. Ayyeme, Chayacha, Ayomem, Ko, Yeme, Chayacha, Halaylas, Vachomem, Orem, Yeme, Chayacha, Lamaza, Ko, Lahavi, the Mosa Mashiach. Frank to Dumska, what's Ko, Lahavi, the Mosa Mashiach? Tell me, Yeme, Chayacha, Lamaza. And Ko is Yeme, Mosa Mashiach. What's Lahavi? What, what's bringing him also Mashiach. All right, so a dumb score. At the beginning of the winter's month, he would tell us, Tamina, we're heading into a Tkufa, Arucha of long nights. I wish you all a good Nacht. I wish you all a Laila Tov. I makavanas What does it mean, a Laila Tov? State in the Gemara Brokhas Tov. Hey, ain't Tov el Torah, Shirma Kalek Yatov, Nasati Lachem. Oh, it's a Yom Tov. I wish you a good day, a day that's filled with Torah. Oh, it's a Laila Tov, a good Nacht. Zok the Hale Gurudamsker. I wish you a night that's Mole Torah. Good Nacht, Phil, ain't Tov el Torah. I know. I that's the greatest tov in the world. Let's reread the Mishnah. Abed Zoma comes along and he tells us, Those are the days. Call what's the reboy? What's the additional mention? A superfluous mention? A call. Call Yemechayacha. That means I feel the lateless even the night. Explains her Damsker. Ah, Olam Hazen, that's him, Echayecha. But call if you bring the call of Ben Zoma. And you take the Leman of Torah, not just of the days, but even the Leman of Torah at night. And you make it call, Yem Echayecha. Bring out Kodesh Burcho. All the days, your days and your nights, you fill with the Torah. And then Lahavi, the Moshe Shech, that's what's going to bring us to the days of Mashiach. What's going to bring us Lahavi, the Moshe Mashiach? What's going to bring us there? The call of Ben Zoma. Zok the Chachamim. If you bring the Limud Atayra, Hain of the Yomim and Hain of the Leilus, you bring it all together. That's the Havi Moshe Shech. Why the Fiyin Hestaiti? Don't Damskus Gishmak because what's Moshe when David? What are you, Moshe Mashiach? It's the Zman of Malchus Beis David coming to the forefront yet again. The Zman of the rebirth of Mashiach Ben David. What's going to get us there? You know what's going to get us there? If you tap into the Koch of Mashiach Ben David, of David and Melech himself, what is the Koch of David? To link together Ko Yemei Chayach of the nights to the days. He got 70 years from one of he got 70 years from the others. He's learning during the day, he's learning during the night. That's David and Melech, he's learning all the time. He's Erev, he's Ma'arev. And who is Masak and Erev? And by the Way, his son Shlomo Melchus was in Erevin. Why? Because Shlomo saw his father. His father's whole life was a machin of an Erev, of mixing the day into the night. His son is Masak in Erevin and the whole Indian. And the episode of learning a night is where? Achrak, Masechus Erevin. We're almost done. Let's go to the Ramah, Milchus Tamatayra. Perkid Gimel, Halachid Gimel writes the Rama based on that Gemara near Ben Samachay. Kol Osik b'Torah b'Alayla. Anyone who is Osik who is learning at Torah at night, Achut Shochese Nimshuch Olav Ayom. A threat of loving kindness is sprung around such a person based on what to heal him. Kapitol Mem Beis Pasuk Tes Yom Miyitzav Hashem Chasdo v'Alayla Shiro Imi Tvila Leal Chayai. Anyone who learns a night is chut shaches and nim shachol of the finiest tighty. And let's go to the Gemara Brachas Daf Dalal and Amal. Famous Gemara. Uh, the Gemara cites the pasuk until the pay vav. Ale David shaman avshi kichosin ani. He calls himself a chosin. Levi Rovitz says a machlagis. Why does he call himself a chosin? And now I the pere Yeshua many mafarshim. A many many is for more. David Amelch who says Anochi talas vloish. A David seems to be showing off complacency. Chas v'sholom. David the epitome of what an honor is all about. And he says, oh, how do you understand that? Oh, let's go to the first opinion in the Gemara. Chad Amr, this is what David said, Lebanai HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Shalom, Lo Chosid Ani, Am I not a Chosid? Why? Shekom Malchim Mizrach Mar of Yitzchayin about Shal Shas. Everybody else, the other kings, were they doing? Sleeping went into the day. Avani Chatzos Leila Alkum Lahonis Lecha. And what do I do? I get up Chatzos at night, and I'm sitting and I'm davening and I'm learning. What am I doing? Ad Chatzos Leila Hayosik B'Derei Torah. The Gemara told us earlier. And Gimel Amud Beis. He's all sick and tired all night until Chatzos, and then Chatzos he gets up bright and early to continue davening to Neibushter, and he gives us. 
Mike and Chatzos writes the Arizal in the center, and he's masaking Tefillah Sosik and Lefini is tighty, and he brings it all full circle. And Poshe, David's not showing off. Chalil v'chas, David the quintessential Anav. And David says, "I'm a chosid. Why? I because Hashem, you told me that anyone who was osik but Torah b'alayla chut shochesed Moshe cholabayo. There's a chut of chesed. David says, 'Shom now she can chosid ani. I'm not showing off. It's a mitzias. A mitzias is that I'm staying up all night and I'm learning and I'm davening. I'm osik but Torah b'alayla. Then a meila Hashem, you promised chut shochesed as Moshe cholay. A meila Shom now she." Chosinani, and that would be the source. How does the first one Yomer know from Chosinani? How do you know it's a reference to getting up early and learning? Because David Melch himself until the Membeis test. I tell you, Hashem Chasdo, you're called a Chosid. Chesed comes all over you and overwhelms you. If you're someone who's learning a night, who can say that David? Because that's what he was. That was his Matthias. Mainly, he's not showing off. Shemanashi Chosinani. Bye, Sai. Uh, we're saying goodbye. We just said goodbye uh, to Shavuos. But let's keep this Indian alive and well. Maximize the time at night. Make yourselves like David and Melach and getting up or staying late, whether you're going to sleep at four, whether you're getting up at four o'clock. But make sure your nights, they're not made for Michelob, they're not made for Evelavolim. Your nights are made for Tyra, for Tyra, for Tyra, and for Tyra, for Tehillim, for Tvila. And join together the night and the day. Giso, Yom, Villa, Lavava, Chibur. Join them all together. Together, maximize your days and your nights, and let's breathe. To bring us to this man once again of Malchus Beis David, Hatzloch and Brocha Gavaldik a week ahead.